It's reporting season, where companies listed on the stock market open up their books. Many CEOs are loquacious at the moment, and you can't blame them. Some of the nation's biggest companies racking up billions in profit. But you're paying for it. Dr Jim Stanford of the Australia Institute has crunched the numbers and says more than two-thirds of our nation's inflation problem is made up of increased corporate profits, wages barely moving the dial. From pre-COVID to now, the inflation that's above the Reserve Bank's target range is profit-taking, meaning big companies aren't just passing on increased costs like fuel and fertiliser, they're putting more on top. Plus, the RBA is hiking interest rates to stem inflation, so you're copying it twice. Stable jobs figures in the US caused key indices there to lift, while on currency markets, our little battler barely moved in value today. And if you're in the market for some rocks, iron ore was down slightly to just below $130 US a tonne. That's still among the highest prices in a year and a boon for the federal budget we'll have in May. Our share market lifted 0.3% today, but backwards over the week. Minor Rio Tinto slipped 3.5% after revealing a profit slump yesterday off reduced demand from China. It took investors a while to work it out, but they weren't happy. Don't worry. The company still made more than $12 billion in profit. And that's finance.